She's one of the original supers, gracing fashion bibles like Vogue, Harper's Bazaar and Elle. She's walked for fashion powerhouses such as Dior, Gucci, Versace, Prada. And she calls Campbell, Crawford, Turlington and McPherson friends. So with a life like that in the fashion fast lane, it's not surprising that now she's added international designer to that insanely stylish mix. Let's meet the gorgeous Gail Elliott and her fashion baby, Little Joe Woman. Um, it was born around eight years ago when we were living in New York. I used to live in New York for 24 years um, as a model and um, it was kind of a natural extension from my modeling days. Um, from being a model now into fashion designing. For me it's a natural extension. I mean I've been working with so many incredibly talented designers for so many years um, and I guess working with clothing is something that I feel I know and I, from working with those guys I probably had the best education in terms of, I mean, there's no fashion school that you can go to to learn what I learned from the people that I learned from. So for me, it's a natural, natural extension. There was one time when actually, uh, you would probably remember it too, um, we were doing a Versace show and it was when the five supers were walking down the catwalk to the George Michael Freedom track um, and we were all backstage and we were screaming and dancing around and jumping because it was such a great moment and um, Gianni and Donna were backstage hugging each other and crying. It was pretty intense, it was really amazing. I have massive goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really, it was really cute. It was a great moment, and I still remember that. It was just very powerful. It was a big '90s moment, I think, in fashion. She travels a lot. She's subtly sexy. She's chic. She, I'd like to think she's smart. She, um, she's well read. A lot of my girlfriends are that kind of woman, and I think that really inspires me. And that's when I, when I design, and that's who I think about, and that's who I design for. I think you can learn fashion. I don't think you can learn style. That, for me, is probably the difference. Grace Coddington. certain celebrities that I feel have great style. Someone like um, Corinne Upton Baker from Hermes in Australia, she's very stylish, very chic. Um, you know, they don't necessarily need to be famous people, but they, certain people just have it. You see people on the street and, um, you know, you're like, wow, you know, she looks amazing and it, it, it catches your eye and makes you want to not know that person, but, you know, look out, look out for out to that person and in a way learn something from her. It really is an intangible thing, isn't it? Like it's, yeah. you can't define it. Yeah. it just yeah. it's, like you it's say, there. You have it, yeah, exactly. It's there or it's not. So do you have a secret thing with feathers? Yeah, I've as always well? had a thing for feathers. <laughs> yeah, I mean I have them they're pretty yeah, I have one um, next to my bed actually. It's been there for months I have them, yeah. Um, they're on my um, inspiration wall. I have feathers all over the place. They somehow just come into my life, and they're beautiful. And for me, they're um, they mean freedom, um, and, and they're just beautiful. Fashion faux pas. <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> what makes you laugh? Oh gosh, my husband's face, my puppy's faces. <laughs> What really pisses you off? Um, people who are mean. Vodka or champagne? Champagne. Black or white? Black coffee, white tea. Leather or lace? Both. Together. <laughs> okay. I think I know the answer to this one. New York or LA? New York.
into it. <laughs> Favourite food? Thai. Oh, anything spicy. Hidden talent? I can speak Japanese. Please, go ahead. Ichi ni san shi go roku nana hachi kyuju. Guilty pleasure? Oh gosh, champagne, chocolates, roses, all those girly things. Worst habit? Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely <it>. perfect. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words. Uh, uh, hopefully unfair, fun and generous.